Okay, here we're going to look at how to create a file in Adobe Illustrator and then create a spot layer so that we can print with white or varnish um, in any of the major rips. I've already opened up a file. It's a vector file. In this case, I have selected the orange. We can also select just the soccer ball. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select the entire image. From there, we're going to copy it. Then we're going to go to our layers. From our new layers, we can create a new, a new layer and paste the image. Or if we want to keep it simple, we can go ahead and just copy the existing layer from here. I'm now going to name the top layer, which is going to be our white layer, or clear layer, spot one. That's with a capital S, number one, no space. That is important for certain rips. With the spot one layer selected, the next thing we want to do is we want to open up our swatches window. I'm also going to hide my bottom layer. From here, we need to choose a color that's going to represent our white when we see it in the rip or see it in the screen here. You can choose any color you want. Sorry, we need to select everything first. You can select any color you want. Um, but typically in the industry, folks tend to use a form of a pink or something. Consistency is more important. Once we have this pink color, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new swatch. Again, this is really important, we're going to name the swatch Spot 1 with a capital S, number 1, no space. Then we're going to change our color type to Spot Color. We also need to make sure our color mode is set to CMYK, which it usually is by default. I'm going to hit OK. And the next step is to go to your, open up your attributes window. So we're going to go up to window, attributes, and from here we're going to select overprint fill. If you're using any strokes in your image, you, you'll want to head, go ahead and you want them to be white or clear as well, you'll want to select that as well. In this case there's no stroke so the option is not there. The very last step as you can see, our bottom layer is still our original, and our top layer is now pink. If we hide the top, we see it like that. The very last step is to save the file. It's generally recommended that you save the file as a PDF. So we'll name this one Hawk Logo and White Spot. Save as a PDF, and we're done.